Hello there and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Now just a quick video, I always, I always say that but they always end up to be way too long. Now this is the SJ5000 camera, I mentioned it in my not so weekly weekly news. It was sent for review by the manufacturer and deal extreme and I've been playing with it over the last few days. I want to get this review out fairly quickly because I know a lot of people have seen this camera and they've said, oh hey is that really any good? Is it really a successor to the SJ4000? Which everyone knows and loves but I'll be doing a sort of a, a quick review of this as well to uh, with a view to how they perform for recording video footage from RC models, be they fixed wing models or multi-rotors, drones, whatever. Uh, look at how these things perform in that role, attached to various gimbals and all sorts of stuff. So it's going to be quite a big review, but I wanted to get a bit of a, a preview out first because I've been playing with this thing for several days now and it's a bit of a roller coaster ride, it really is. Um, uh, when I first got it, it didn't work properly. It, it, the video was all corrupt and it was, it was you know, what was going on, I thought. Um, I couldn't get it connected through Wi-Fi, it was just, you know, so I removed the battery, put the battery back in, that fixed it all up. So it, it started working fine, working excellently. Um, you know, I could take video and things, but the only way you can change the settings, and I'll get to this when I do the review, the only way you can change the settings on this is through a Wi-Fi app. You run on your Android phone or your or your Android tablet or whatever, um, there's an app, I think there's an iOS version as well, but that lets you change the various parameters that control how the camera works, because there's no screen on the back of this one, it's just a battery cover. So I've had no end of trouble with that app. It's been, it's crashed several times, sometimes it doesn't work. At one stage, for no reason at all, it flipped the video on the camera so everything was being recorded upside down. How did that work? I don't know. So I'm going to have to do a bit more investigating. Now I do only have an old Nextbook tablet, one of these, which is pretty old and it's only got a single core one gigahertz, but although it runs a lot of applets very slowly, it doesn't cause them to crash. So I'm thinking, is it this? I'm going to try it with another tablet, fine. Before I condemn the functionality, because really um, this thing without any Wi-Fi connection is like a brick. You can't change anything, and all you can do on the buttons is you can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can change to picture mode, you can change to video mode, and you can start recording or take a picture, and that is it. Because unlike the SJ4000, there's no screen on the back, so on this thing you call it up, all the menus are here, tick, 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 you can do whatever you like just by holding the camera. So, yep, just a bit of a heads up, um, mixed feelings on this so far, but I'm not going to rush out and do the review and say it's crap until I've had more time to make sure it's not just me, because hey, who knows, I'll do a bit more in-depth investigation. What I will do, hopefully on the end of this video, is put some sample footage. It's crap weather, it's cloudy, it's not a very good indicator, so I'll put some sample footage on the end of this video so you can see what it looks like at the default settings, because unless it's changed them by itself, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but one of the little things, just to let you know how frustrating this is, after I took the battery out and put it back in, of course the time and date was lost. I can find no way on earth to reset the time and the date. The app that has no facility to reset time and date, no way to do it through the camera directly. What do you do? I'm going to be left recording in the past. <laughs> That's <laughs> so frustrating. Anyway, so there you go. Hopefully it's just me, but if you're thinking of rushing out and buying one, hold off. Hold off until I've had a chance to really have a good look at it. Hopefully that'll be over the weekend, have something up there early next week with some real definitive findings for you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. If you've got questions, comments, put them on the bottom of this video. I'll do my best to address them or answer them. And in the meantime, I've got so much work to do, I've got to get back to the bench. See you later, guys.